Why do Latinos love Trump? I played the race card, the race game. I would consider myself a Latino. And I know another Latino that uh, likes Trump. Has no problem with Trump. Voted for Trump. So that's Pearl, Latinos. So now I've explained my um, plural form of the title. And uh, shit, how do I speak about a problem without being a fucking rat, which is worst of all? Because a problem is, uh, isn't limited to just a race, a gender, an ethnicity, or legal status. But when I've seen uh, some illegal immigrants, no, don't worry, white girls do it too. Um, just have kids, don't give a fuck about them. Get their WIC or EBT or welfare, whatever that is, not becoming productive part of society. Well, it becomes a burden. And that's a whole different uh, social issue. But uh, I could tell you about uh, again not to rat out to anyone or pick on any cartel in particular. Or even a gang in particular, but there are parts of Mexico not too far from the border. Uh, if you have a relative over there and you go visit them with a nice truck, oh shit. What's up, buddy? Nice truck. Uh, where are the keys at? Let me have it. Well, who the fuck are you, motherfucker? I ain't gonna give you shit. Um, your relative, it's your cousin, your uncle, your auntie, grandma, mama, daddy, granddaddy, your best friend, childhood friend. Um, for their safety, I recommend you uh, hand it over. You leave, and next thing you know, you get a phone call that um, is ordering you to come back. And shit like that have it in Mexico. There's a documentary on Netflix. Uh, I, t I cheered up on, teared up. My eyes watered up like a motherfucker. Probably a little bit more than I would have started crying. But beautiful and emotional. Um... revealing of Mexico because it has plenty of great people but I think that's what what its flaw is that it's so people that are so loving and caring that evil politicians cartels gangs and other just thugs can just move on in and say give me that shit and me myself depending on what kind of mood I'm in I'm, I'll either fight you or say yeah go ahead take that uh Take my gold bracelet, I don't give a fuck. Uh, just get another one. Just learn the lesson not to be flossing out in public. Oh well, I'll make it. Now, on the other hand, I catch me another day and things will work out differently. You could ask a few gang members to try to rob me if uh, that's the case. It's happened more than once, but maybe they're on the straight and narrow now. Maybe it's possible. But and me, nope. I don't. Uh, I don't bang. 
Uh, I work with a lot of gangsters, convicts, felons, outlaws. I got no problem with them, zero. But the problem here is that people are leaving Mexico because, for one example, Mexico. Other parts of El Salvador, I haven't looked into the history of other countries or their current status, but I really believe that pretty much this this giant channel could fucking be um, uploading it from Botswana. I think it's a country in Africa, I think. David Letterman used that word a lot. Not really a part in Africa would be ideal, but I could be in fucking cousin fucking Kentucky with uh, the only internet connection. I could still be, I, I believe that I could still get the subscribers. Maybe, maybe even more because I would be out in the middle of the sticks and just be focused on this. I wonder if we should just go to Mexico and visit um, some contacts. Just to show you that it's the same shit over there as here. As far as uh, productivity. But people come here to... To dream. To make it happen. And... Man, you know, with uh, Pemex, a Mexican uh, oil company, I think it's run by the state. The richest man in, Me in the world is in Mexico, Carlos Slim. But why is the Mexican not earning a buck? What trash is in his mind? religion, corrupt politicians, gang members. Superstition, I don't know. But overall what I feel is that if your country's fucked up, maybe, just maybe, you're gonna bring that fucked up attitude, that fucked up perspective along. Let's uh, seal the borders. And unfuck your country first. You know, the one country that you're, um... The one country that you're so proud to, uh, Support during the World Cup. During the Olympics. Uh, uh Me, myself, uh... I like to root for the home team. And I give uh, a lot of uh, attention and appreciation to my roots, to the ancestors who used to go out and grab dinner by foot and hand. And now, um, you know, with the spear, possibly going around enemy territory, being careful not to become the next human sacrifice. Avoiding jaguars, serpents, snakes. I don't know what kind of snakes are in Mexico? But and of course, they sound like a complete asshole, right? You keep, what do you mean? You know? Okay, you know? Are you Native American? I'm not Native American. Well, then you're not a real American. Mm, I'll agree. I'm not a true OG, original, original gangster American. But with the way that the uh, Democrats 
want to remain in power by giving away freebies, by taxing the middle class and just rewarding the bottom feeders that just don't want to do anything. Well, there's a problem there. And America's $21 trillion in debt. That balloon is gonna pop. It'd be really sad if um, it happened during Trump's watch because it was Bush and Obama who helped uh, create that big ass huge bill. 